To be honest, it's uh, Her Highness Sheikh Fatma, uh, Mother of the Nation. I'm very fortunate to have a lot of uh, very strong females in my life, so I have to say, growing up, definitely my mum and my grandmother and my nana. I am mainly influenced by women that have an opinion and that have character and that are bold and creative. That's where I find really inspires me. Apart from my family, who are obviously the biggest female influence on me, my mother and my sisters, I would say I'm really attracted to good storytellers. So if I had to choose one, I would choose Toni Morrison, who is a huge inspiration. She's one of just 51 women who've ever won a Nobel Prize, let alone a Nobel Prize for literature. Uh, that's against more than 850 men who've done that. Um, and she's a sage and a storyteller and tells unheard stories in such a beautiful and unjudgmental way. I think the, the biggest issue in my mind is uh, the balance between work and family. Uh, women try to position themselves as certain leaders at, at workplaces, so we need to put time, energy and effort. And then at the same time, we need to be mothers, daughters, sisters and, and wives at home. So that, that, that finding that balance is, is the number one, I think, issue. I think it's probably the um, just being overwhelmed by having so much to do and um, and I guess in some ways so many choices as well. I think um, there's a, a great deal of pressure of um, feeling like you have to do everything, being the you know the super mom and the career person and um, you know or even pressures of choosing one over the other. I feel women my age today have a huge responsibility and opportunity. Um, to really shape how um, women behave, act and get involved. Obviously there are huge global issues that women my age are facing all around the world, whether that's poverty or lack of access to education or healthcare. Um, but to bring it back to me and our industry, as I get older and I go further up the career ladder, there are fewer and fewer women my age that are visible. So trying to tread a path that I don't see other women treading very much, as opposed to many men who are there as mentors and guides for how we should behave and how we should be is very difficult. But it's very important that older women are visible in our industry and still strive to do the best job we can do and represent our gender. It's a day to celebrate women all around the world for their achievements and, um, and to recognize how much they put into the development of our culture and our societies, regardless of where it is around the world. I think it's just taking a moment to stop and reflect and think about all of the wonderful things and you know the progress that has been made, but also where we need to go as well. International Women's Day is really important because it's an opportunity for us to take a step back and really celebrate what women have achieved so far. International Women's Day is so important for two reasons. One, because we have so much to celebrate as womankind, and the second reason is because we still have such a long way to go. November the 10th is Gender Pay Gap Day, which means that as women, essentially we work for a month and a half for nothing. So if we were the same level in age as our male colleagues, we would get paid to the end of the year, but from November the 10th as women, we essentially stop getting paid for the work we do. Um, and that, added to that, there's also lots we still need to do in terms of legal rights, property rights, healthcare, education. We still have lots we need to do to make it an equitable and equal society. understanding the difference between competing and completing. So once women and men stop competing with one another, they'll be able to complete each other to reach gender equality. Understanding other people's situations and understanding that every person is different and that that sometimes takes um, a bit of thought and understanding. So, uh, for example, uh, for me, that's been really, uh, we have 20 women in ACON and so, and many of them are working mums. It's really about understanding the individual needs and some women need to start work later, but they're happy to work later in the evening as well. So just really understanding each person's dynamics, but also what they really contribute to the workforce as well. I think it's really about collaboration and bringing people together, no matter what the gender, to really celebrate and get behind the cause. We can do two things. I think we can be kinder. Uh, to each other, whether we're men or women, and we can be fair. I think particularly as women, we often judge our own sex much more harshly than our male counterparts. I think we should be kinder to each other. We need to build relationships and allies and networks that strengthen us and empower us to do our jobs well, as well as there's so many unpaid roles that we carry out in our lives, whether they're as mothers or wives or girlfriends or aunties, 
we have a lot of positions that we need to fulfill and being kind to each other will help us do that better.